Okay, so I have this extra large I Heart SFU Business t-shirt and I want to turn it into a corset in the back since it's super huge. And so the first thing I did was cut off the neck, um, the smallest amount I could around just the original neckline. And this is the kind of neck it gives me. And then I put the t-shirt on backwards so I can see um, what I'm working on in the back for the corset. And so to start off, you decide where your corset's going to end and how tight you want it to be at that point. And so I want to end about right here. And I want the corset ends to be touching. And so I put two pins in these spots here. And we're going to string a string through and then slowly just work our way up. So now I'm going to take a pair of scissors and cut a small hole in the spot we just pinned. And a really easy way to thread string through small holes is to take a little pin with um, something on the end, poke it through the fabric like this, and you're going to stick the pin in through the hole and then just pull out the string. And so I have my pin sticking out through my shirt now and just pulling it through like that. And you want to thread it so that the two ends of the green string are now sticking out of the shirt. And now I've done the exact same thing for the, for the very top of the corset. And now I'm putting the shirt on right side out to make sure that I'm happy with the fit and the positioning. So now I've taken out the green strings and I've laid my t-shirt flat. And we're going to use the holes that we've made to guide the rest of the holes that we're going to cut for the corset. So we just want a straight line from hole to hole. And so I'm just using small pins to help me um, guide where I'm going to be cutting my holes. And so I'm doing five holes in between my first and middle hole. So once I started editing the video, I realized it's kind of a complicated project and I didn't do a very good job of explaining it. So I thought I'd draw some diagrams instead and I'm going to narrate for you guys. So to start off, I showed you how I chose the three main points of how tight I want the shirt. The middle holes go out further than the top and the bottom ones because I wanted it to be tighter at the waist. And that's why it has the shape of pointing outwards. Next, you need to cut the holes. So you need to make sure there's an even amount of holes on both sides. So, so for me, I decided to do five holes in between each main hole. So that's five green on top, five green on the bottom, a total of 13 holes on each side. My next step was to cut off the bottom hem. You're welcome to leave the original hem if you think it looks better with it. But I just ended up cutting it off. And then I cut along the sides of the holes that we made earlier just to open up the back of the shirt. So be careful not to cut too close to the holes or you'll risk ripping the hole open. So I did this for both sides and now the middle panel is cut out so there's completely open in the back. Here is me cutting one side of it. And now you're ready to start lacing up the corset back. I tried to draw this out step by step, but I was confusing myself too. I think you guys are better off googling how to lace a corset or try googling different ways to lace up shoelaces because there are some really funky unique ways out there that I've never tried, but I've seen them online before. So I'm going to have the picture of the shoelace diagram up on my blog, so you can check the link in the description box below and you'll be linked to that picture. I can't have it in the video for copyright reasons. And so that's pretty much the whole thing. You can add in more customization if you want, of course. I added a bat wing sleeve. It's the same footage from my 8 ways to cut your sleeves video, the purple BAM shirt. Continue watching if you want to see the bat wing sleeve. Otherwise, here's the final product. Uh, mine had a pretty wide neck, so I could have just tightened the corset in the back, but I have it like this. Wear it sort of off the shoulder, one sided both sides, or have it around the neck like this, kind of baggy, neckline like that. 
In the back, it looks like this. Thanks for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you try it out. Let me know how yours goes in the comments below. And follow me on Twitter, okay? Bye! Okay, now I want to do something about the sleeves. So I'm going to start off by cutting off the original hem. And earlier when I was wearing this shirt, I measured how much tighter I wanted to be at the end of the sleeves and I wanted to shorten it by 3 inches. So that's my cut there. I'm going to do a straight line from that point to the bottom of the armpit and do strips. And then um, I need to double knot each strip. Okay, so here's the finished fat wing sleeve. And just to compare it to the original, there's the difference. 